In Chile, on September 11, 1973, Augusto Pinochet launched a military coup against the government of the democratically elected Marxist president, Salvador Allende. As I fled my country shortly afterwards, I could not take much with me. Some clothes, family pictures, a small bag with dirt from my garden, and an old edition of Pablo Neruda's poetry. Like the bag of earth with Neruda's words, I was taking a part of Chile with me. For Neruda was such a part of my country, such a part of the political dreams destroyed that day. The poet died two weeks after the attack, many say of a broken heart. At the poet's funeral, the left gathered for the first time to mourn their dead and to mourn the death of democracy. If you look at the history of the Chilean resistance against Pinochet, the first public act of resistance was the funeral of Pablo Neruda. It was as if the gods of poetry wanted to say to Pinochet, you're going to meet your match here. Neruda is going to die, and he's going to die in such a way that his words are going to haunt you. And you're going to allow the people to come together and gather courage and shout and speak out. Bueno, todo el funeral fue con la gente apostada en las calles, con los rifles, así. Eso, eso así hicimos el funeral. Quisieron cortarlo, no pudieron. Teníamos todos un, un miedo compartido, pero además un desafío tremendo, porque era algo que no íbamos a dejar de hacer. ¿no? Y era una forma de presencia. <risa> 